here's a big life question for you to unpack. Do okay. you believe in fate? Do a what? Do you believe in fate? Uh, I just believe the way I grew up, I grew up with, you know, believing in life, you know, believing in the universe, believing in mathematics, and each his own, you know. I, I study everything in life. I like to study religions, science, mathematics, and study everything in life that I think it gives you an, an outlook of, of, of life, you know. Like, to me, if something makes you happy studying religion and it helps you out, do it. You know what I'm saying? I respect everybody's religion. You know what I'm saying? But I don't call myself a religious person or those kind of things in that nature. So I just believe in everyday life. Every mm -hmm. day I'm walking life, I'm writing the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Does that make any yeah. sense? You know, that one I interesting thing, I, I ask this question about fate a lot because when I look at my life, the important things that worked out were completely accidental. Like almost mm. as if when I try, it doesn't work out. But when yeah. I talk to people about this, they often jump to the conclusion that what I'm really asking about is God. And yeah. I feel like those two things, I can see how people would think they're related. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think that fate is like kind of separate. Are you acquainted with yeah. the story of Ed? Yes. Yes. So you you like know what I'm saying? The word, the word, like the, it's just the word. Mm. It's a label. You know what I'm saying? Like that word mm. fate is a label. You could, you could make it seem like it's so many different things. Does it make sense? Like, you know, you don't have to deal with like that word label. I mean, fate means so many other things in life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so to me, it's just, you know, I, I could say yes and no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know what None I mean? Of I, I, just, I just live. Just live. You know, and whatever whatever comes to my world and my my path, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I, I, I take, like I said to people, take the best part of the earth and run with it. Because mm -hmm. we're, here, we're here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? We're here to test our powers because all of us have powers. It's just people don't understand their own powers. Mm -hmm. They haven't got to that point to know yourself. And that's the key, know yourself to understand your powers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%. And I feel like as artists, you being a visual artist and me being a writer, we're really to have been endowed with these paths because our purposes and our gifts are kind of obvious, you know? Yeah. But I think about all the people that I know who struggle to find their direction in life and with the firm belief that everybody does have a purpose, you mm -hmm. know, it's crazy how much self-knowledge it takes to find those more subtle purposes. Correct. If people become social workers, that must be difficult to find that that's your path, you know, or architect. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. Oh, you're absolutely right. I could see that. Yeah. See that. Was there a fateful way of you finding your purpose in life? Like, I finally stumble into something and realize... It's just, oh my it's just weird. Like, my, my path, everything mm -hmm. happened by mistake. Mm -hmm. And everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like I said to people, without art, I would not be here. I'll mm -hmm. be in jail. I'll be dead. I'll be doing negative shit in my life. But without art, you know, that was, everything came by mistake from dancing to filmmaking to becoming a painter. It's that journey that I was in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. So I tell people that this, you know, this is what happened in my life. It didn't come, it didn't fall in my lap. It's like, hey, here you go. No, it's just, I earned it too. You know, I worked my ass off too. So every path that I took and everything that came to me, I took it to heart and I worked my ass off and, and ran with it. You know what I mean? So that's what I say, you know, everybody has their own path in their own ways that that art might come in your life for a reason. You know what I mean? To help others. And and that's what happens with us artists that, you know, sometimes some art artists don't even know they're artists 
until mm-hmm. later on. You know what I mean? I never knew I was a writer or a painter. Like, oh shit, I'm good at this. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So yeah. Um, what would you have gone to jail? Huh? What would you have gone to jail for? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> well, was, I did my negative side, you know. I did my back in the days, you know, my 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 selling and my, you know, my my stealing clothes, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> the credit card thing. So I I did it. I I did it all. I did it all. That that when I meet that when I meet people that I I know, I'm like, dude. Don't hustle a hustler. Been mm-hmm. there, done that. You know what I'm saying? So I know. So when I take that negativity that I did, now I put it into positivity and, and, and show others, you know, you know, teach others not to do the same shit like I did. Do you think it's possible to really be a successful artist and conduit of feeling doubled in the bad sufficiently? Yeah. For example. So uh, I, I see what your point is. I see it because some some are lucky. I mm-hmm. won't call it luck, but like I said, everything happens for a reason. Some people we have to struggle. Mm-hmm. You know, like you you like you a writer. You have to get to that point, and you had to work your ass off. And then some people skip all that. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But as long as the person stays humble and you know, I don't know. It's just everything happens for a reason. And I don't knock them, you know. Other people be hating, be like pissed off because they work their ass off. You know, I get it. I get it. I totally get it. But you just say, hey, man, good for you. Give that person love too. And don't fucking hate. That's the only problem about this whole industry from artists, writing, music, art. Stop hating. Appreciate the person that worked their ass off or they did something in life for themselves. You know what I mean? And give them that love. And because it's got to come back to you positive too that if he could do it, you could do it. You know what I mean? So yeah. each one teach one. You know, it's not about hate. It's not about, oh, you he think he's all that. He think he's a great artist. No, respect the artist that he worked his ass off and give him love. You know what I mean? A lot mm-hmm. of artists I respect. I'm like, good for you, man. I'll keep motivating you. I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. keep it happy. Keep me, keep rocking. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Very important. Yeah, I think I think it can be really difficult to strike a balance between competition and unhealthy competition. Like being competitive has forced me to do things in my career that I might have been too scared to do otherwise. But yeah. then I points in my life where I was so competitive that it really inhibited my happiness, you know? Mm, mm. Oh, I get it. Get but it's, it. Like, it's like with, with rap music, would rap be the same if different rappers didn't have beef? Like, some of those verses are the same. After, after um, Kendrick Lamar dropped Power, um, mm. and Mikhail mm. responded with his own verse in response, it's like yeah. that music fires Yeah, up. yeah. It's funny that he came out, He when he came out to me as a hip-hop dancer, I was like, in a hip-hop, you know, life that I live, I was like, wow, hip-hop is back. Thank mm-hmm. God that hip-hop is back. They're bringing something about life, because that's what hip-hop was about in the 80s, the you know, 90s. We were talking about life. We were talking about culture. You know, mm-hmm. we were talking about, you know, the struggle, you know. The things and and it's funny if you hear hip hop back in the eighties, you don't hear a lot of cursing. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't hear cursing at all. You hear positivity messages. You know, mm-hmm. so yeah. No, but, and I mean, I think there's some people now who make really good use of vocabulary, like ASAP ASAP Rock. Um, but listening to a tribe called Quest, I would have never learned the word prophylactics if it wasn't for. <laughs> Yes, I yes. Conscious, and then I was like, you know how I know that word? That's conscious, 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 right there. That's the that's the beauty about those mm-hmm. those those bunch of clicks from De La Soul, Brand Nubians. Uh, they have a bunch of them that they were the movement. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? We were trying to educate the young. 
to go to the right direction that you don't need a fist or you don't need a gun. You just need your mind and your lyrics or your, mm -hmm. your music or your dancing to change the world, help others. That's what we were sending that message out there. You know what I mean? Do so, you think that's still possible? Huh? Do you think that's still possible? Is it oh, yeah. Possible? Oh, yeah. Especially now. Now the twist about it. Now we're doing it with art. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing it with street art. Mm -hmm. That's why street art's about messages. You know, it's about, you know, putting signs up in the streets, wheat paste, or putting beautiful images that makes you think that you walk by and go, wow, I like whoever that is that says make art. He just reminded me to make art. That's why I write make art for you to remind you, musician, writer, actor, anything to remind you to make art because people forget. People forget their, their identity, who they are because they get caught up in the other world. Like mm -hmm. I call it the, the human world. <laughs> I call it the human world. They caught up in the human world. Mm -hmm. So they need to get, they need to come back to the universe and, and say, hey, shit, I forgot to paint. I forgot to write. I forgot myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. Like I did. You know, if you fall, get up again and go get it and do it again. I don't like that painting. Fucking erase the painting, go over it, and do it over again. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's the key. Stop bitching and make art. Do it. Continue doing it. Because somebody will buy your piece of artwork. It takes patience. And, you know, that's why I wrote that. You know? Mm -hmm. It sounds straight up and fucked up. Like, yo, stop bitching. <laughs> you know? No? But mm -hmm. they know what I mean. You know, they're like, damn, Savior's right. Stop bitching. I got to stop bitching and get in my grind, you know what I mean? Get on my hustle. You know, you have to hustle if you wanna be in this career, you wanna be an artist, you wanna be a writer, go get it. You have to go out there every day and hustle. You have to go to every art show or a music industry show, whatever it is in the arts, just go get it. You know what I mean? And go hustle. And stop bitching. <laughs> you know? So that's why. How, how, how do you get yourself out of a rut and into the main part? Do you ever get stuck in the bitching part? Oh, yeah. I get, oh, I guess I'm not, nobody's perfect. I get stuck a lot. You know what I mean? But like I said, I'm that guy. I got history of myself because back in the days, I used to lose a lot of jobs as a dancer professionally. I used to wake up late because I used to smoke a lot of weed, get fucked up, and lost so many jobs in my life that I one day I said, that's it. I'm not going to do this shit. No more. I don't smoke no more weed. And sh and I stopped for a long time. You know, I had my drink in there, but I wrote a piece of paper on the wall and said, never be late. Mm -hmm. And I, I, every day I saw that piece of paper, I was going to be on time. I'm every every day I was on time. So when you say 7 p.m., Savior's ready at 6.45 mm -hmm. ahead of the game. And it educated me and taught me that I start working with corporations right now as an artist. They love working with me because I'm professional. Mm -hmm. I'm on time. Mm -hmm. You know, we got the reputation as artists being late. Cut that shit. You have to become professional if you take this career seriously as an mm -hmm. artist. Be on time. Be professional. Be, be kind to others. Know your shit. You mm -hmm. know, you're not only an artist. You have to become a businessman. You're not mm -hmm. only a writer. You have to know how to sell your books. How, what's your writing worth? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Very yeah. important. 